New tonight, surveillance and police videos released following a string of armed robberies at Dollar General stores across Jacksonville, and one of them led to a case in which an officer shot at suspects. Right now, four people are facing charges, and our Renata DiGregorio is on your site. Side tonight, and Renata investigators saw a pattern with the robberies from April into May. Tresonda Benefield, Nathaniel Carter, Jakeithian Daniel, and Jakari Lewis now facing charges after police say they robbed four Dollar General stores across Jacksonville. Surveillance video shows multiple people with guns, masks, and gloves lead employees inside at gunpoint and get into what appears to be a safe. But this time they didn't get far. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office took the four into custody following what they say was their fourth robbery of a Dollar General on North Main Street. An officer fired a shot at the suspects hitting their vehicle. No one was hurt. First Coast News crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson. The target um, the Dollar General or places like that because they know that uh, the majority of people that go in there handle cash. During the investigation, Sheriff T.K. Waters says JSO told Dollar General stores to warn their employees about the string of armed robberies. This includes employees at a Dollar General on Kings Road, where a racist gunman killed three people last August. John Phillips represents the family of Angela Carr, one of the victims, and is fighting for more security at Dollar General stores. The reaction by Do Dollar General corporate management was to just write, we remember on bags. And, and to rebrand the store, that, that doesn't solve the security risk, which, you know, we're seeing happening over and over again in Jacksonville. First Coast News asked Dollar General if security measures were put in place once JSO warned them about the robberies and what those security measures might be. Dollar General responded stating they're committed to providing a safe environment and have invested in security measures based on store specific considerations, but to protect the integrity of those measures do not publicly comment on the details. In Jacksonville, Renata Gregorio, First Coast News on your side.